Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today we are doing this really pretty glittery cut crease. Um, I really, I honestly don't know what to call this, but it's really pretty, it's purple, and it matches my hair. So, of course, I'm gonna love it. This is the ESO2 Care Beauty Palette. I'm using this very pale pink first. And um, this palette is a little tricky to work with, I'm not gonna lie. There is a bit of fallout, but I like the color payoff, so I kinda just deal with it. And usually when I'm using this palette, I don't put my foundation on first. So I just go in with my eyeshadow first, that way I can just clean up a little bit. And I'm taking this uh, medium shade of purple, using that in my crease, and then kind of smoking it out towards the edge there. I really wanna give my eye um, kind of a cat eye-ish look. Um, please excuse my eyebrows. I was doing a different eyebrow look today and I didn't really like how it ended up turning out, but um, I just rolled with it. It still looks cute overall. I didn't really, yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna do my eyebrows like this again, but I was just trying something different. And you'll see me blending for years here because there's this little portion like in my inner corner that just would not blend right and I just had to keep going over it. And um, this is the side of makeup that beauty gurus don't show you when they're blending for hours trying to make a palette work. Um, but I'm showing you guys here, I am I was literally blending for like 10 to 15 minutes. Like it was a while. Maybe not literally, but it was a while, okay. So I'm using the darkest shade of purple in my crease here, and this is a pencil brush from B Bella. Lately I've been really liking the B Bella brushes, um, they just kind of work really easily for me, and they're not super expensive, so that's also a plus. And then I'm just working to blend that out as best as I can with my lighter shade of purple and my light pink that I have going on. Next, I'm taking my NYX White Eyeshadow Base and using that to cut out my crease. And um, this isn't exactly the crease shape that I was going for, but I had to make it match the other side because I didn't want to look lopsided. So I kind of just went along with it. Um, if you're doing this at home, be very precise when you're doing this, if you can. And I mean, honestly though, no one's gonna come up to you and tell you your eyeshadow is crooked. And if they do, like they need to get out of your face. Next, I'm taking the Juvia's Place Magic Palette and then that shade right there and using that on my crease and also on the outer portions of my eye. And then I'm putting some glue down. I ran out of my NYX um, glue glitter base, so I'm using this other glitter base that I, I, don't, I honestly don't even remember the name of it. And then my custom glitter mix. Um, for this, I use some craft glitter from Joann's and then I also use some... Um, some J-Cat glitter from J-Cat Beauty. You can use any glitter for this if you want. Um, I just use purple because I have purple eyeshadow on right now, so it kind of matched pretty good together. The chunkier bits of glitter are from Joann's and then the loose glitter is from J-Cat Beauty. And I, I have glitter everywhere at this point. Like, it's, it's all in my hairline, like it's just, <laughs> it's all over the place. Next I'm taking my Tarte rose gold eyeliner you guys know this is like my favorite thing to use on any eyeshadow look and i'm using that just in my crease and this was really hard to do because um i was trying to film this but when i did it on the other side i had my arm rested on a table so it's a lot easier to do and then i'm taking a hot pink shade and using that just on my lower lash line i didn't want it to be too too purple so i just kind of used that on my lower lash line and then I'm setting it off with some mascara and my eyelashes from Steph, the makeup artist on Instagram. She's amazing. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you wanna see any other type of tutorials, let me know. I want to start doing a beginner's makeup tutorial um, series. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.